Whether it's bathtubs suitable for Satan or a magic sidewalk, Virgin Mary, a giant natural fridge carved out of ice, underground, or a lion with a funky new haircut, these discoveries are out there and they're waiting for you to find them. And believe it or not, they're in some really extraordinary locations all around our wonderful world. Take a look at the bizarre video. That person is wearing a TV set while dropping off the old sets and then walking off. Sometimes they're shockingly closer than you think. So get ready to see some mind-blowing things that might be right outside your own home. 15 Unsettling Discoveries That Left Locals in Shock, Part 2. Number 15. Siberian Ice Tunnels. Locals discovered in Siberia what no one was supposed to see, and it's chilling to say the least. Built in the 1950s, this intriguing monument remains the world's largest permafrost store. The Yamal Peninsula in northwest Siberia stays covered in permafrost all throughout the year, and while the winters are chilly, summers are comparatively warm, at least by Siberian standards. So, when a fish processing plant was built here in the mid-20th century, what was urgently needed was a cold storage facility where fish caught in the Arctic waters could be stored before they're processed, packed, and exported to Western Europe. The tunnels go deep inside the permafrost in Novi Port, a subterranean labyrinth that's a relic of a former age and a triumph of engineering in the most inhospitable conditions. In total area, these tunnels and chambers cover a larger space than the White House in Washington, D.C. It's a freezer on a grand scale, and all natural. Ice picks went blunt from constantly hammering the hard permafrost. Everyone was involved, women and men alike. Some of these underground ice-walled passageways were hundreds of feet long, and the complex acted as a safe and reliable storage facility. And in 2008, this remarkable complex was awarded the status of a memorial of regional significance. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Vegetarian Crocodile. India is a land of impossibilities and rare occurrences. It's not uncommon to witness or hear of weird, bizarre, and mystical events and practices in this ancient subcontinent. Welcome to Kerala. Here, the world's most ferocious meat-eating creature survives on a vegan diet. Meet Babia. To begin with, Babia is the guardian of Anantrapura Lake Temple that stands in the namesake village. Babia feeds only on the temple's strict vegan diet, which is offered every day after the noon worship of the deity. The vegetarian meal features cooked rice and veggies and is fed to the friendly croc by the devotees fearlessly by their hands. According to the local legend, at any one time, there's always one croc in the lake, and as bizarre as it may sound, each time the guardian crocodile dies, another one pops up mysteriously and takes on the job of guarding the temple. And to this day, no one knows how each new crocodile appears in the lake. It's hard for a meat-eating person to adopt a veggie diet, let alone a fiercely hardcore carnivorous animal to embrace vegan food. But Babia, the lake-dwelling guardian crocodile, is the proverbial lotus that grows in murky waters. Strange, but true. Number 13. Well of Hell. This well in Yemen is millions and millions of years old, and outside of some birds, bugs, and snakes, no life exists inside. Known locally as the Well of Bardo in the Al Mara region, the mysterious place has long been the subject of much mythology and folklore. It's foul and toxic odors rising from its depths and has been renamed the Mouth of Hell, said to be one of the most misunderstood spots in the country. However, there's no denying that this well in Yemen's east is a natural wonder. Some have suggested the hole was a collapsed pingo, an ancient ice formation that collapses and leaves formations like this. There are others who have speculated that this hell well is a supervolcano that will eventually erupt. Rest assured, there's no scientific evidence this is true. Yet, over the centuries, stories have circulated of malign supernatural figures living in the well. At 100 feet wide and thought to be up to 820 feet deep, local folklore says it was created as a prison for demonic beings. Many local residents remain uneasy about visiting the vast hole. But take one look at it and you can understand why this cavernous formation has inspired so many local legends about ancient curses and evil spirits. Number 12. Death Effigies From the customs and beliefs of a number of tribes around the world, their dead are honored and buried in very different ways. 
the people of Toraja in the province of South Sulawesi in Indonesia bury their dead loved ones in one of the most unique ways in the world. High up on the exposed cliffs, people have hand-chiseled tombs where the bodies of their loved ones will finally rest. These burial caves are one of the more popular tourist destinations in the area. Tau Tau is a carved wooden effigy, very closely resembling the dead body buried there. Usually, jackfruit wood is used for this carving as it tends to yellow with age to look very much like human skin. Some are carefully carved with special attention given to details such as wrinkles on the face or sagging skin on the neck due to aging. Nearby are wooden coffins safely and firmly secured to the cliff walls by wooden beams. These coffins or caskets are said to indicate the level of honor or nobility of the person buried there. The higher the casket or coffin is located on the cliff walls, the higher the degree of status or bodies buried there. The Tarajans also believe that the higher the coffin lies, the shorter the journey is for the deceased to enter into Nirvana. Number 11. The Chained Oak The story goes as follows. One night, the Earl of Shrewsbury was returning to his home at Alton Towers in England when an old woman suddenly appeared in the road ahead of his horse and coach. The coach stopped to find out why she was there at which point the old woman begged for a coin, but he cruelly dismissed her so the old woman placed a curse on him. The old woman told the Earl that for every branch on the old oak tree that fell, a member of the Earl's family would die. That same night, a violent storm caused a single branch from the old oak tree to break and fall. Then a member of his family suddenly and mysteriously passed away. Now, firmly believing in the power of the curse, the Earl is said to have ordered his servants to chain every branch together to prevent other branches from falling. The more rational explanation is that the Earls built and then extended Alton Towers and its gardens. During their tenure, thousands of new trees were planted, but the old trees were greatly prized. The chained oak was situated in a highly visible position, just off a carriageway frequently used by the Earls. As such, the tree may have been wrapped in chains simply to preserve it and prevent it from collapsing under its own weight. Number 10. Doll's Head Balcony Hundreds of heads of terrifying dolls are layered on the porch of this two-story house in the Venezuelan capital of Caracas. Many thought that these dolls were a symbol of evil. Others, however, have taken it as a local landmark. It's the sort of thing that's easy to miss if you simply walk by in a hurry without looking up. But if you're the kind of person who likes to take in the sights, there's no way to miss the hundreds of creepy doll heads looking back at you from above. Going past the balcony of the dolls during the day is creepy enough, but doing it at night when there's hardly anyone around, it's darn right creepy. Throw in some rain that makes the dirt and soot around you and the dolls' faces black with tears, you have the makings of a real-life horror scene. Stories and eerie legends have been going around for years, but in reality, there's nothing scary about it. The balcony is merely an art installation. It's the creation of a local visual artist who owns the house. In the beginning, the balcony of the Dawes was very first controversial in the neighborhood, but in the end, people accepted it as a local landmark. Number 9. The 5 p.m. Chime You've heard the expression, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, meaning it's quitting time for most 9 to fivers. One doesn't have to be in Japan for long before noticing that something special happens at 5 p.m. daily. In most Tokyo wards in towns across Japan, a chime will sound its eerie tune at precisely 5 p.m. Although it seems that many locals are under the assumption that the bell is a reminder for children to make their way home, it's not the chime's primary purpose. These sound systems are in place for emergency announcements, and the daily ring is a way for both the government and the people living and working in the area to confirm that everything is in order. And sure enough, every day, loudspeakers across the country play out different folk music to check that the disaster warning system is in working order. The local government decides what melodies to play. While each may not have a different melody, most wards have a signature tune, using either a popular nursery rhyme or a simple clock chime. Some regions change both the tune and the time they're played as the seasons change, but most keep to one song at the magic hour of 5 o'clock. Number 8. Lion with Bangs This lion in a China zoo became an instant celebrity worldwide after it was spotted rocking bangs. The viral pictures of the rare white lion were initially taken by a visitor to the zoo and posted the pictures to a social media page. Many had commented that they believed the zookeepers were responsible for the lion's unique hairstyle. This, however, has been denied by the zoo, with authorities saying that they would not dare to cut a lion's mane. 
but surely this can't be true. Someone has very clearly given this apex predator some very prominent bangs. Is it us? Or does the lion seem a little self-conscious about it? We're not saying it looks bad, but the zoo mentioned that the hairstyle was likely caused by humidity in the area and also lions groom themselves by licking their fur, which can cause changes in the appearance of their mane over time. The mane of a lion is known to alter throughout time and the mane of an aged lion can get darker, lighter, longer, or shorter. The condition of a lion's mane is usually a sign of the lion's health. Lions, who are often dubbed the king of the jungle, owe a lot of their prowess to their proud chests, quick speeds, and distinctive manes. This lion maybe is just trying a new look. Number 7. Devil's Bathtub In Waiotapu, New Zealand, there is a bathtub only suited for Satan himself. The devil's bath is filled with lime green mud that would peel your skin off. It owes its cartoonish color to sulfur and ferrous salts that rise up through the earth's bowels bringing with them the stench of hell itself. It's so mesmerizing you start to lean in towards them. Surely the devils work until the heat and smell remind you to take a step back. This is New Zealand's biggest geothermal area, extending over many miles, though the parts accessible to visitors are more compact. Although the landscape isn't grand in scale, it's unlike anything you've likely seen before. The fencing is flimsy in Waiotapu. Only a wooden picket fence holds visitors back from the salt-encrusted edges of the craters. You can still get an astonishingly close-up look at nature in the raw, rolling and steaming and with a stink that's half open sewer, half rotten eggs. The origin of the demonic moniker is unknown, but given how unnatural the pool looks, it would almost come as no surprise to see Satan himself rise from the still lake. Despite the name and almost frightening display of geothermal chemistry, the Devil's Bath and all of the volcanic craziness in the area are a favorite attraction. Number 6. Storm Hector Like clockwork, Hector is a cumulonimbus thundercloud that forms regularly nearly every afternoon in the Tiwi Islands in the Northern Territory of Australia from approximately September to March each year. Hector, or sometimes called Hector the Convector, is known as one of the world's most consistently large thunderstorms, reaching heights of approximately 66,000 feet. Hector is caused primarily by a collision of several sea breeze boundaries across the Tiwi Islands and is known for its consistency and intensity. The conical-shaped Tiwi Islands play a significant role in triggering Hector each day, helping to funnel the sea breeze rapidly upwards, convecting the warm and humid air up into the atmosphere, creating a deep and impressive cumulonimbus thundercloud. Named by pilots during the Second World War, the recurring position of the thunderstorm made it a navigational beacon for pilots and mariners in the region. And he emerges every day around 3 p.m. Today, Hector is loved by meteorologists because his clockwork appearances make him easy to study and help us understand the factors that influence the thunderstorm development. Number 5. Holy Sidewalk an outdoor parking lot in Mexico recently became a pilgrimage spot for religious folks after a detailed drawing of the Virgin Mary appeared on the asphalt. But that's not the weirdest part. It inexplicably reappeared 15 years after it was drawn. This particular chalk drawing dates back to the 2007 festival, and no one knows how the artwork lasted for so long, or how it had gone unnoticed for years. Photos of the chalk drawing started doing the rounds online recently, and it wasn't long before people started visiting the site to see it for themselves, with some leaving lit candles and flowers to honor the Virgin Mary. As for how the colored chalk managed to weather the elements as well as the constant traffic remains a mystery, especially since this type of artwork isn't supposed to last more than a few weeks. Its origin was unknown at first, but after photos of the mysterious artwork started circulating online, local authorities revealed that it had been drawn during a celebration called Bella Via. The artist who drew her is said to have revisited it and confirmed that it's the one that they made 15 years ago. The artist's identity remains anonymous. Some locals have described the drawing's reappearance as a miracle given the parking lot had undergone a lot of change. Number 4. Television Bandit on the east coast of the United States, residents of a Virginia neighborhood woke up to find vintage televisions had been left outside their homes by a person with a TV set on their head. Check it out! In the video shared by the local press, the person can be seen wearing an outdated television and a jumpsuit strolling up to homes. Then he simply sets the TV down and walks away. Doorbell surveillance footage captured the bizarre drop-off as the disguised prankster did his thing. 
Incredibly, this isn't the first time old TV sets have been dropped off at residents' homes. The same prank happened in a different neighborhood too. In fact, the mystery prankster left the vintage TVs at more than 50 homes. And even weirder, it looks like it's not just one person dropping off the old sets. Authorities think it's a harmless prank not specifically targeting anyone. According to the police, the only crime TV Santa Claus committed was illegal dumping. At most, this seems to be more of an inconvenience to the community. Officers and county workers spent time collecting the TV sets and clearing off residents' front porches. Neighbors, however, think the practical joke is someone having a bit of fun. Number 3. Mystery Spring Nestled in a remote district of France, this ancient well spring known as the Fossi Dion is a deep natural water source that's been built up into a haunting grotto since Roman times. For centuries, people have relied on the gushing, color-changing waters of this ancient well, but no one has been able to locate its source. According to one legend, a deadly serpent patrolled the well's base. According to others, the spring was a portal to new worlds. However, the waters that pour from the natural font are thought to originate from somewhere in the Morvan Mountains, but due to the tight passages that taper off the deeper the pit gets, divers have never been able to reach the actual source. According to one legend, a deadly serpent patrolled the well's base. According to others, the spring was a portal to new worlds. However, the waters that pour from the natural font are thought to originate from somewhere in the mountains, but due to the tight passages that taper off the deeper the pit gets, divers have never been able to reach the actual source. The gurgling sinkhole was used historically to supply clean water to a nearby palace and became the focal point around which much of the ancient settlement developed. During the 18th century, a stone rim was built around the pool with a spout at one end to allow the water to run off. An amphitheater was eventually built behind the pool and it was used as a public laundry. These constructions remain to this day, with a bit of crumbling masonry and moss adding to the spring's natural beauty. The spring gently produces water during the summer months and tends to get more vigorous as snow melt comes cascading out. Number 2. Washed Up Mansion this mysterious ruined villa was recently discovered on a beach in Costa del Sol, El Salvador in Central America. It's unclear how the abandoned home ended up on the popular beach, but it seems to have been there a while. One of the most popular theories is that the villa was the victim of a powerful hurricane that hit El Salvador over two decades ago. Apparently, the villa was actually a hotel called Hotel Puerto Ventura. The cracked structure remains here, leaning on the beach just at the point where the waves hit the sand. It's more accessible during the morning hours as the water recedes, but it returns with a vengeance in the afternoon, flooding the place. That hardly stops tourists from exploring it, though. The abandoned villa was popularized by social media influencers filmed exploring the abandoned structure. It went viral, and tourists have been flocking to the ruined villa ever since. One of the last things you would expect to find washed up on a tropical beach is a concrete villa. And yet that's exactly the kind of bizarre attraction that beachgoers at this picturesque beach are treated to these days. Number 1. Living as a Goat When the rat race became too much for this man, he abandoned his life in London, England to live as a goat in Switzerland. Thomas Thwaites spent a year creating prosthetic goat legs that would allow him to roam the Alps comfortably on all fours and an artificial stomach that would enable him to blend in and eat grass. One day he was walking with the dog of a friend and he noticed that the dog just seemed really happy about life and he thought to himself it would be really great to be a dog for a day but as he was not keen on meat he decided against becoming a dog. Eventually he settled on the idea of being a goat. He applied for a university grant to study goat psychology and tracked down a goat herd in Switzerland who was prepared to tolerate him living with his animals. His prosthetic goat legs were designed with the help of a clinic in Manchester which helps people who have suffered amputations. The fake goat's stomach was strapped onto his waist and helped him to secretly spit chewed up grass inside without giving the game away to his new goat pals. The human goat said the goats didn't seem to like him very much, but he later realized that they were just letting their new goat friend know there was a hierarchy and he should know his place. You never know what could be outside your own back door. If these videos were any indicator, the most shocking things could be waiting for you. You just got to get out there and explore, and you might as well film it while you're at it.